You know, it, the, the financial literacy space, it, it's so funny too because you mentioned some things like save on broccoli, you know, clip coupons, you know, stop buying lattes. You know, you can only, I think anybody can only listen to that for so long. And, 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 and I don't think anybody's going to experience any major life transformation by buying or not buying a latte today. Uh -huh. you, you study money problems long enough and you start to realize that there is no such thing as a financial problem that can't be traced directly to something below the surface oh, like yes. self-esteem issues, relationship issues. You know, I had an entrepreneur on the show who said every money problem is really just a relationship problem. Either the one that you have with yourself, with God, with somebody yes. else. And you can't really help people achieve financial freedom unless you start having the discussions about mental health, about understanding your purpose yes. and so forth. So to me, what you're saying actually sounds like it speaks more directly to the real thing that's holding people I back. I believe that it does. I like you said, I don't really think you can help people transform unless you help them address their beliefs, their thoughts, um, their rituals, their habits, their relationships. There's no way, because, and we know that's true, right? That's why they say 76% of America is living paycheck to paycheck and they throw out all these stats, but then you wanna turn around and just make people feel like it's about a budget. I know from working one-on-one -on -one with people at a nonprofit for a year and a half, I was like a case manager, like helping people go all the way through. And they would say to me, how are your people getting such results? Because there was a curriculum that the organization used nationwide. And I go, mm, I'm not really using a curriculum. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually talking to people about their relationships. I'm talking to them about setting boundaries. I'm encouraging them to go to therapy. I'm encouraging them to take better care of themselves. And as a byproduct, they are doing better with their finances. And so that's what I knew from doing that work in 2012. It wasn't until 2017 that I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say what I believe is the truth. And so I came out with my six pillars of wealth and that has been the catalyst for so much transformation in my audience. Um, and, it, and it's funny, people are always like, you helping me change like my perspective with money, but you hardly talk about money. Hmm. And I'm like, that's it. Now I make the other people who talk about the hardcore money things, now you have the ability to receive what they're saying. You can't receive it when your mind is cluttered with all this other stuff that you need to work on.